get. Good day to you. What do you need? Can we trade? If you've got the coin. Let's talk about the price. Naturally. What about this? It'll take more than that to persuade me. I knew we'd come to an arrangement. I was saying crouch. I don't want to pick up the whistle button and the crouch button are right next to each other. Lost something. Why are you creeping around? Hey! You can end your bed chambers, my lady.
You stop right where you are. <laughs> so, uh, so much for that. <laughs> what the hell do you think you're doing hurting people like that? We won't put up with violent brutes here. Is that clear? You should have thought twice about what you're doing. That will land you a fat fine. Oh, come on, my friend. You know I'm in the service of Saradze Kobola, don't you? Try your fairy tales on someone else. That much? I don't have enough on me. You still have to pay the penalty. Looks like you'll have to sit it out in jail. Put me in jail, then. You'll love it there. It's all set up specially just for the likes of you. I hope you enjoyed your time in our little establishment. <sighs> Not much, actually. Glad to hear it. And can I go? Go? Ah, you can, I'm sorry to say. Now bugger off and get yourself killed for all I care. What the hell are you doing? I'd like to make use of the bathhouse's services. And what is it you'd like? I've uh, heard you have nice girls here. But of course. 
Money first, though. That's too much. It's not worth it to me. As you wish. Hey, look out! What do you... Got belly ache, have you? What was that? My respects to you, sir. I hear you're able to open locks without a key. Will you teach me how? Certainly. I'd like to practice the basics. All right, but it'll cost you. Isn't that quite a lot? Sorry, but I'm not going to teach you for that price. I've already gone.
Who's there? Well now, look what's come crawling out from under some rock. <laughs> 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 Emergence to drop off all this extra shit. On the part of the luck. Sweet Jesus. Hey! <laughs> 
Why would anyone do this? What did these poor...
Hey, who's there? What's going on? Answer to my prayers. You're free. Leave your weapon and go. I agree. Used to by your side. In the end, you were a hero. Didn't abandon them like me.
Why did you do it to me, Father? Why? Why did you leave me? Forgive me. Forgive me for everything. Next time I won't run. I'll never run away again. I'll find the one who did this to you. I remember his face. I'll find him. But first, I have to find the shovel and, and take care of you. I remember you told me you wanted to lie beside Mother. Here. Under the linden tree. At least I can do that much for you.
Get away, you mutt! Get away, you beast! What's going on? It's Mishak. What in God's name are you doing? What do you think I'm doing? Digging turnips? The beast just went for me! Isn't that mutt the butcher's... Um, mutt? But isn't that body the butcher's? Yeah, that's him. What's that got to do with anything? I'd say the poor creature is standing guard over his master. You weren't trying to get to him, were you? What do you care what I'm doing here? What are you doing here? came to bury my parents. So bury them and leave me be. Would you lend me that spade? I have to dig a grave. I can't find another. What's it worth to you? I see you have a fine sword. I'll gladly trade you my spade for that. How did you come by it anyway? My father forged it for Sir Radzik. It's my duty to deliver it to him. It's not for sale. Go right ahead and dig that grave with your sword. See how that goes. And where will you dig it anyway? Here? You're not going to lay your parents in unhallowed ground, are you? You know, you're an unbelievable piece of shit. I've got business to take care of here first. Oh, how I wish to be gone from this place. First, I was bound by parents. Easy there, boy. You know me. Your good master won't be needing this anymore.
This is a good place. You're going to like it here. Damn it all. How am I going to do this? Do you need some help? Is that him? Yes. Can't you see the sword? Who are you? What do you want? Spishek? Who do you think we are? Franciscan brothers? <laughs> We're here to rob you of everything you've got. Especially that fine blade that's of no use to a peasant like you anyway. Banish the thought. It is my father's sword. You mean him? I don't think he's going to be needing it anymore. Listen here, boy. You hand over that sword, I might just let you go. If not, you're in for a family reunion you really don't want. Leave me alone. Kill him, runt! I cut the bastard down. As you like. is going to like it. It's new, isn't it? And now, for the maiden bloodletting. Surely your father never would have imagined it would be your blood. I believe there's a word for such moments. The old man would certainly know. But I'm just a common killer. Did you help make it? No doubt you did. Such miserable luck. To die by the sword you helped forge. Hey, go fuckers! <laughs> the 
games are over. Do you need some help? Wake up, Henry. It's past sunrise. Henry. 
Can you hear me? Get up, Henry. Wake up. It's a new day. Henry, can you hear me? Hallelujah. I thought you'd never wake. Were you having a nightmare? Teresa? Hmm. I still have a fever. Uncle won't be pleased, but you'll have to stay in bed. Where am I? In Scallitz? We're at my uncle's mill in Rattay. I didn't know where else to go. What happened? You don't remember anything? I suppose that's not surprising. I found you in Scallitz after those bandits attacked you. I thought they'd done for you. But you were still breathing. Why in heaven's name did you go back there? It was madness. They slaughtered everyone who didn't run. My parents, I... I wanted to bury them. I had to... Don't worry. I took care of it. Thank you. Any good Christian would have done the same. Now sleep. You need your strength back. You're awake. Good morning. <laughs> it's near midnight. You've slept all day. Oh. <laughs> oh, I feel like a horse fell on me. The beating you took was worse. But at least the fever's broken. What in the world were you doing in Scallitz? Waiting to die. What? They killed my brothers. My family. My friends. They're all dead? All of them. Everyone I ever loved. They killed one of my brothers in the mines. After that, what did I have to live for? Don't say that. There's always hope. No, there isn't. But it doesn't matter. I'm a different person now. How did you manage to save me? You were lucky. I was in Scallets and I saw Zbyshek and his thugs. I tried to distract them, but it would have been no use if those soldiers from Tamburg hadn't arrived. They were searching for you and scattered the bandits. Searching for me? Yes. Lord Divish sent them, led by Captain Robard. So tell me, why is a lord of such high standing interested in a blacksmith? So Divish promised Sir Radic he'd look after me. But as for why they should care, I've no idea. Oh, I'm exhausted. I'm not surprised. I'll bring you water and something to eat. In the meantime, rest. You're still very weak. Good morning to you. How's the invalid today? Oh, I haven't felt as good as this since they lashed me to the wheel and quartered me on the town square. Got your sense of humour back. You must be better. My uncle will be glad to hear it. I had a job persuading him to let me bring you here. If you'd lain around much longer, he really would have dumped you on the town square. You can stay until you find somewhere else to live, but my uncle will want payment for taking you in and caring for you. And this is your uncle's house? We're in Rattay Mill, my uncle's miller Peshek. He took me in, and I talked him into taking care of you too. I've been lying here long enough. Uncle will be pleased he's one mouth less to feed. But are you truly well enough? Well enough to do what has to be done. Where can I find Sir Radzig? He's in the lower castle in Perkstein. He's a guest of Sir Hanish of Lipa. But someone like you can't just walk up bold as you please and demand an audience. I know Sir Radzig. And I didn't bring him his sword as I was supposed to. I must see him. If you insist... But you need to speak to my uncle first. You've been in your sick bed for over a fortnight while he paid the apothecary to tend to you, and for medicine. That's a good deal of a coin you owe him. I've been lying here two weeks. My God. Better a fortnight in bed than an eternity in the grave. If it weren't for my uncle, you wouldn't be here at all. Fine. But right now, I have more important things to do. That's all you have to say? After everything we've done for you? 
Well, do as you see fit. You're up to no good, you'd better think twice.
A word with you. Hey! My name's Henry. Thank you for taking care of me here. My name's Peshek, and I'm the miller here. You've already met my niece, Teresa. She took care of you for two whole weeks while you were in limbo. And talking of you being at death's door, while you were lying here, you worked up quite a bill with the blood letter, who came now and again to keep you alive with his potions. That quack doesn't come cheap. I paid him what I could, but I still, that is, you still owe him. I see. Well, it's better to be in debt than to lie dead in a ditch. What do I owe? I'm not afraid of hard work. You won't pay for that shoveling manure. I might have a better job for you. And it's not something any fool can do. If you prove to me you're a clever lad, I might trust you with something you could really make money from. What do you say? Well, what would you need from me? A trifle. Just to take something from someone and bring it to someone else. And not get caught while you're doing it. That sounds straightforward enough. Except for not get caught. Why would anyone want to catch me? Oh, don't worry. It's just a job like any other. Only this one requires, uh, let's say, the right moral disposition. Do corpses bother you? No honourable man should touch them. That's the executioner's job. Did you expect I'd give you a hoe and send you out to the fields? You can dig all right, but somewhere else. I want to know whether you're going to hide behind some stupid fucking scruples, or if you might be useful for more unconventional work. I was prepared for just about anything, but that's a bit much. But go on, tell me more. Listen, it's about this ring my mate Wojcik, a Kohelnitz Miller, had his eye on. Trouble is, they buried the ring by the gibbet, along with the villain they hung while he was wearing it. Jesus Christ, you want me to dig up a corpse, take a ring from it and give it to your friend in Kohelnitz? There's nothing sacred to you. Money first, morals later. That fellow is dead. He won't miss it. Whatever bleeding heart came up with the idea that it's disrespectful to disturb a corpse never read the Bible. It's still a human body, only it's missing a soul. Why be disgusted by something created by God? I think I've already heard more than I need to know. You've got the tongue of the devil himself. If you tried hard enough, I bet you could justify sodomy with a goat. Watch your mouth, boy. There's a shovel here around the mill somewhere. If there's any problem, come and see me. And here's something on the side to make you dig better. Thanks. I'll need it. I can't believe I've come to this. Digging up corpses. Oh, and uh, watch out for the executioner and his hounds. They're pretty savage. And I don't just mean the dogs. You can just throw them some meat. The dogs, that is. But the executioner? Well, don't vex him. Have you eaten yet? Yes, it was very good. Did you bake it yourself? I did. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Where can I find a shovel? There's one right outside, leaning against the cart. Try unlocking this trunk. Hold the lockpick in your right hand and use it to feel out the tumbler. In your left, got it? Good. Now turn the whole lock to play. You forced it and broke the lockpick. That crack could be heard in Kuttenberg. You have to watch out for that, and expect you're a dab hand, Hal. Make something out of you yet. Yeah. But remember, this trunk's only for practice. 
With real lots, you have to watch out for the pick. Try it a few more times if you like. day to you. What do you need? Can you tell me... What do you think about everything that's happened? I don't concern myself with the doings of my betters. But this mess isn't good for business. I don't give a damn who's king. Do you know anything about those ki- The heathen scum that Sigismund brought. What about the scallop? God sent them to punish us for our sins. That's all. Good health to you. What kind of governor is Sir Hanush? Young Sir Hans is our governor, but Sir Hanush is his guardian till he comes of age. That's not a day I'm looking forward to.
realism a little overrated. first.
bit more. Jesus, look. Hey. Time. Can I get out of your house? Is there something you need? Just like in the past, I will back. I will walk around here until I get like, into the castle town, but I'm not seeing the next entrance over here. I'm like, shit.
doing, you murderer? What on earth are you talking about? What are you doing here, nearby a corpse? Nearby a murder? I'm looking for humans and killing any I find. You? Not likely. Oh shit, you're all covered in her blood. It's my own blood. Some humans ambushed me and I got cut. And now you're trying to pin this killing on me. Well, it's true it ain't safe in these parts. I've got a funny feeling about you. But I can't be absolutely sure you did it. I'm relieved to hear it. We'll just have to report it to someone. Unfortunately, there's not much we can do about it.
the chain from over here. Uh, Lord Almighty. Hey! Push off, you beggar! Push off, you beggar! Are you looking for me? Jesus, get lost, or I'll give you up for it. Careful. I'm sorry, I'm looking at a fast travel point or something. Alright, I'm looking to go back. What are you doing there? What's going on? Who's there? Well, I never.
this game does really need to not overrun. This is ridiculous. Halt! Who are you and where are you going? I'm Henry, son of the Scalitz blacksmith. I'm going to see my liege, Sir Radzig Kabila of Thvoyets. Of course you are, lad, and I'm the Pope. What do you want from his lordship and what makes you think he'll see you? I may not look the part, but I know about honour and duty. And mine is to tell Sir Radzik what happened to the sword he commissioned. All right then, go ahead. It'll be your skin if Sir Radzik isn't pleased. Easy enough.
Let's have a word about the price. Well, we can try it. Here, and something for your trouble. Well now, thank you very much. God bless. Jesus Christ be praised. Do you know if there's anyone around here who could use my help? Hmm. I don't know. What's life like in Ratai? Life is good here. By God's mercy, the war's passed us by so far. There's nothing but them refugees to disturb the peace. How do the Ratai folk get on with the refugees? I know they got nowhere to go. Scallets is a pile of ashes and the countryside ain't safe. But they have been here too long. Some of those buggers got light fingers and not a one of them appreciates the sacrifices we made for them. Have you heard anything about the Cumans in Sigismund's army? Terrible things, horrible. I hear they skin people alive and what they do to the women folk? Better take your own life than fall into their hands. Beasts they are, animals. I wiped this just a while ago. Bloody hogs. Stop. I need to search you. Here. Anything I stole was before I got in. Why? Such are my orders. I'm carrying an important dispatch. I don't have time for this nonsense. You're the one holding things up. Ugh, oh, come on then. What the fuck is this? All these things are stolen. You'll be leaving that here. Got it, laddie. Now you can enter. Another one who thinks he's above the law.
Who's that?
go. Go. Did you find out what actually happened? What do I know? The lords are at each other's throats, but it's us that has to suffer for it. Same as always. I reckon they was after the silver mines, wasn't they? How does life in Ratai suit you? It'd be fine if we didn't have to sleep in hovels and beg for arms. And the bailiff is always on our backs, the bastard. But what can we do? We've got nowhere else to go. God bless. Ah! Watch where you're going! Could that be the smith's son, Hal? On my soul. It is him. What are you doing here, lad? We thought you were done for. I must speak with Sir Radzik. Is he here? He's in the palace with Sir Hanush of Ratai. They're feasting in the knight's hall. What do you want with him? My father made him a sword. He, um... He asked me to deliver it to Sir Radzik. I don't see any sword. No. Bandits attacked me and stole it. I need to tell his lordship what happened. And then I'm going to find the sword. Of course you are, Hal. Good luck. Thanks. There's a camp. Hey, you're not allowed to walk around here with... Hey, you. It's forbidden to walk at night here without a light. You must be up to no good sneaking around in the dark. Light a torch before the catchpoles see you. Your graces, I have to tell you in all seriousness that this land of ours is in the shit. Deep fucking shit. Don't you agree? I might not have put it as eloquently as you, Hanush, but I've been driven out of my own castle, so I'm hardly going to disagree. Indeed. But Birchstein is yours for as long as you need it. Room enough for your men and you here at Ratte, and I'm sure my ward won't have any objection to me lending you his castle. I'd be honoured. Pechstein is at your disposal as long as you wish, Your Grace. Just as well you have another castle at the other end of town, eh? <laughs> uh, at any rate, I'm beholden to you, Sir Hans. 
And to you, Sir Hanosh. Mm. I don't like to speak ill of your people, Sir Radzik, but, well, there's no love lost between the townsfolk and the refugees. There's been talk of criminality. No, they'll have to get used to it until the situation's resolved. But when will it be resolved? And what on God's earth is this war even about? I won't lie, sir. I don't understand it. You aren't alone, Father. I believe Sigismund's original intention was to persuade Wenceslas to accept the Imperial crown and to leave the rule of Bohemia to him. Well, who could blame him? I know Wenceslas is a friend of yours, Radzig, but even you have to admit he brought it upon himself. I can't deny the king neglected affairs of state for other pursuits. There is a need for order in the land, but I don't think the lords who sided with Sigismund realized just what Hungarian order looks like. <laughs> Hungarian order. <laughs> what concerns me, sir, is how a good Christian could resort to such brutality. To give him his due, I don't think he expected the lords of this country to stand behind the king. But thanks to him, we're tearing ourselves apart, and now he has to get things under control. But why in God's name does he have to use those barbarians? Money is the root of all evil, young sir. Wars are costly, and this one has dragged on for a year. Sigismund ran out of coin for knights, so he recruited those whore sons that settled in Hungary. The less he pays, the more they make up for it with plunder. That's why he attacked us. He was after our silver. What are you doing? You've no business here. Clear off. Wait, it's Henry. Henry, who disappeared after I clearly ordered him to remain at Taunberg. I'm sorry, sir, but I had to bury my parents. Had to? Do you think you were the only man who lost someone there? But the others listened to their lord. And it wasn't just your own life you nearly threw away. So Robard and his men risked theirs to save you. I'm sorry, but I had to. <laughs> oh, there you go. When you have to, you have to, Radzik. <laughs> your father was a remarkable man, and your mother, she was remarkable too. They deserved a Christian burial. Did you manage that at least? No. I was attacked by thieves. I wouldn't be here now if it wasn't for that girl. Girl? The miller's daughter, Teresa. <laughs> the miller's daughter saved you from the footpads? Oh, there's a tale to tell your children. Uh, I owe her my life. She distracted them and then brought me to Ratai. But without Sir Robard, we'd both be dead. Oh, that's what I call a good woman. Hang on to that one, lad. Still, it's a great shame your parents are buried in unconsecrated ground. That means purgatory for them. Be quiet, friar. I didn't invite you here to eat me out of house and home and deliver a sermon while you were doing it. If you're so concerned, Father, maybe you should save the innocent souls of these fine Christians yourself. Go to Scalitz and consecrate their graves. I assure you, if you're killed by bandits, your soul will soar straight to heaven, as long as someone buries you in consecrated ground first. If there's anything left to bury, that plump carcass of yours would be quite a feast for the wolves and the crows. And one skeleton looks much like another, so how would we know which were your ordained bones or those of Sigismund's Tartars? Be that as it may, why have you come here? I must get your sword back. Sword? My sword hangs here at my side. No, the sword my father forged for you. One of those thieves stole it from me. They almost killed him and he already wants to go back. Takes after his father, I suppose. Lad. I've lost a castle, a village, silver mines, and a good half of my subjects. Why would I miss one sword? Because it's the last one my father forged, and I promised him I'd deliver it to you. I understand. I'd feel the same way. But prudence is the better part of valour, and a dead man keeps no promises. Aye. The woman had to save his fat from the fire, and now he wants revenge. What kind of fool are you, boy? He's no fool. Henry, you have courage. But you need training, arms, a horse. Or do you mean to beat this thief at dice? No, sir. Please, take me into your service and give me the chance to learn these things. The gall of him. Fled from the enemy, disobeyed your orders, duped Sir Divish, lost your sword, put Sir Robard in danger with his actions, and now he wants a promotion. Sir Capon's right. What you say is certainly true, except for fleeing the enemy. You would have run as well, believe me. 
Henry's earned some punishment. But how do you punish someone who's already lost everything? Hmm? Courage and blind obedience are good qualities for a soldier. But a wise man also appreciates loyalty, perseverance, and determination. Besides, that was a fine sword that his father made. If he thinks he can get it back, I won't turn it down. My lord, he's a peasant. You can't make a squire of a peasant. Why not? Someone made a priest of a pig. He isn't a peasant, father. He's a blacksmith. And recent events have left me in need of his skills. So, you'd like to enter my service? Sir, I... Yes, I would. You won't regret it. <laughs> oh, I probably will. I'm doing this for your father, lad. Don't disappoint me. Well, fortune has finally smiled on you today, lad. Make the most of it. Now that I think about it, Sir Hanush, the boy needs training and experience, and you need spear carriers. Hmm, that's true. The bailiff is always complaining about your people making trouble in the camp. Maybe one of their own among the guard might help. It might. In any event, it will prove valuable experience. <laughs> but let's be clear. You're the one paying him. <laughs> Captain Bernard, see to his training, and then send him to the bailiff. Yes, sir. And don't spare him. You can rely on it, sir. Don't forget, Henry. Don't disappoint me. I won't, my lord. your torch. You can't walk around here in the dark without a light. Right now. So, good time for a break. 